Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the X-Replicade Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair, the fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess. I'm a huge fan of Dragon's Lair. I was excited to see that New Wave Toys decided to do something at such an amazing level of detail. So I'm very excited to go over everything with you guys, show you some of the improvements, and really take a good look at this thing. All right, so before we go any further, I do have to let you guys know New Wave Toys actually reached out to me and asked me if I would like to review this product. Of course, as a Dragon's Lair fan, I said, heck yes. Now, with that being said, nobody has reviewed this video before release, and all of the opinions expressed in this video are my own. One thing I'd like to touch on is you do see the picture of the spectate monitor, and that is one thing that I am really looking forward to. It's one of the things that I thought was such a cool feature that they were including with this model. Now, if you aren't aware, there's actually two models the red edition and the black edition. They sent me the black edition, which I actually like. It looks a little bit more like what I remember in the arcades, but the red tea molding on the red edition does really pop. Another cool thing about this version of the cab is that they do include a control panel overlay skin that looks worn and gives it a really vintage look. They also include this really awesome little laser disc replica down to the label. And I haven't seen this in any of their other cabs, but a USB-C charging port is very welcome. Good job, guys. I also love that they included four different colors of ball tops. Now, another really cool thing that is an upgrade from the original is that they were actually able to put the Cinematronics logo on the coin door. The side art is up a little bit higher from what I've seen, and the overall quality just looks a little bit tighter. But as you can see in the back, they have two USB ports, an HDMI port, your volume, and your power on switch. They did an outstanding job with the screen, and the overall aesthetic and look of the cab is incredible. So taking a look at their website, you can see some of the basic features that they advertise. And scrolling down, we have a $169.99 price tag. Now, if you are interested in the stools that they sell, those are about $20 a piece. The HDMI out and the mini laser disc player are two really cool bonus features along with some of the branding as well. And obviously you have those two USB ports and a USB-C charging port. So let's check out Stormy getting in some gameplay. Here is one of the stools that you can order off of their website, and the quality is amazing. It's pretty much like someone took the Honey I Shrunk the Kids shrink ray and just shrunk down an actual stool. And it has the Cinematronics branding on it. Let's check out some gameplay. My experience playing the game was perfectly smooth. I didn't have any issues. I haven't played all the way through it yet, but for the time that I did play it, I didn't find any issues. There was no glitching or resetting. The audio sync seemed good. It was an enjoyable experience. I mean, this is a great little system for what it is, and I think that they really knocked this one out of the park. It is my understanding that this is the Cinematronics version of the game, and it plays just like what I know the arcade version of the game to play like. I am a huge fan of Dragon's Lair. I'm not a resident expert, but to me, this is an awesome replication of what I remember playing in the arcade. 
But then again, I have beaten the game enough times that I've lost track. Just a little side note, there's no distortion on the screen when you're looking at it, uh, but my camera did kind of make it look weird when I had it focused in on it. So coin door opens when you pull out on the little key, pretty much offering the same thing historically that have come on all of their other cabs. And in the back you have this little drawer that houses the laser disc player. So it's my understanding that this is a replica of the industrial arcade style laser disc player that they used at the time. Uh, it's very detailed, even the label on the inside. So a really neat little feature to include with this, uh, especially for heavy collectors. Another thing I can point out on the back is that the power button doesn't stay locked when you push down on it. It just kind of pops back up. Your volume controls back there with USB-C, those two ports, and your HDMI. Let's go ahead and check out the functionality of the HDMI. So you can see the picture quality on here and the transfer is really good. As far as audio goes, I didn't include the audio samples in this video, but it works. So there's no issues there. The one thing I did notice is that once the picture gets blown up, it doesn't keep the visual integrity as you see it on the smaller screen. It doesn't look terrible, it's just not quite as sharp of an image. Definitely a little bit more pixelated on a big screen. Now for me personally, I don't care because I'm not going to be playing this on my TV and all I really care about is a spectate monitor. But I think for anyone who is playing on their TV, you won't be disappointed. To get into the options menu, you just push down both coin buttons and it'll take you into the options slashy setup menu. Pretty much contains the basic options that you would expect and allows you to switch between audio sources. It's nice to have these little functions and things that you can change around that may or may not affect battery life as well. The battery life on these seems pretty good. I let mine run for an hour and it was still going. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you a better look and a little bit more insight into the new X Replicade Dragon's Lair. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And make sure if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button on your way out. And if you're not subscribed, think about hitting that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys then.